Hello from Hanoi. It is crazy busy here in the old quarter. Jas and I arrived early this morning and we only checked into our hotel, like our hotel room a little while ago. So we managed to have a two hour nap because we hadn't slept for almost 48 hours. But now we're trying to hunt down some dinner, but trying to cross the road here is very difficult. Let me just show you what's on the footpath. So yeah, this is the pavement. I'm trying to cross the road. <laughs> we need to walk on the road. It's very difficult. Right, we've come to a restaurant called Met that I saw on um, Google. They do vegetarian dishes as well as um, meat dishes. And there's a lot to choose from. Getting very confused by the currency, but I think 95,000 dong is about £3.40. We may or may not have ordered a feast, and the guy is about to come and show me how to eat this, so I'm very excited. This is my uh, lotus root and mushroom stew with noodles. They said this is a red sauce. Jas got a grilled fish, but then he gets all the trimmings. And this is a Vietnamese pancake. It is huge. This said it was a side dish. The rye paper from rye. You can eat that. Uh, making wet rye paper. Yeah. And making wet, yeah. Make it wet. And pineapple. Carrot. Oh, yeah. And uh, green mango. Mango. Yeah. Cucumber. And Vietnamese half, mint leaf, coriander, you like coriander? Yes. Peanut. Pesto mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, and then you put your fish in it. There's so many with your fish. And real fish. Onion. Oh yeah. Chili. Yeah. <laughs> you like chili? Yeah, chili. Yes, he does. <laughs> yeah. What was the um? What's this leaf? The purple one. Is it? Yeah. What's Vietnam that? Meat hops. Vietnam meat hops. Oh, okay. And raw it like this. Oh, and then you dip it in this. Oh yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. Let's try. Try. Yeah. Yeah. Thank I you. Will, so, uh, can I oh my god, I didn't even vlog the food, I don't think, but it was so good. Our first meal here, and it was epic. I'm now walking down the middle of the road. Did you enjoy your dinner, Jeff? Oh, Jess? lovely. I liked it, yeah. I made him get the Unico bag. bum bag, <laughs> fanny pack, whatever it's called. Um, and now we're walking towards the lake. I think we've just stumbled upon a Vietnamese Zumba class, but we are at the lake. Hoan Kiem, I think it's called the lake. So we've made it to Ho Han Kim Lake. I think that's how it's pronounced. It is really beautiful by now. There's people selling stuff um, on the edge of the lake as you walk around the perimeter, but it's so nice because nobody harasses you. You just say no and they just leave you be. Tea Queens and they've got loads of vegan ice cream which I'm really excited about. Look at the size of my ice cream. <laughs> I look like a drowned rat. It is currently almost 6am and I've just washed my hair. We arrived yesterday and I did vlog a few little clips but I was so shattered. It was a very long flight and because it was like a daytime flight I didn't sleep at all. Um, so by the time we landed it was ready for my bedtime in the UK spent most of the day walking around like a zombie so if the clips are alright I will insert them here. So we've just come to this place called Cafe Jiang to try the infamous egg coffee. Well, 
Jas is trying it, not me. The tables are very low, but um, apparently it's just egg and coffee. So we'll see what it's like. It's literally like 80p, I think, if I've worked it out correctly. I'm very thick. Literally, what is that? Just a raw egg? Is it raw? I think so. I'm not sure if it's raw. Very look at that. I'm not sure if I can try this, you know. I'm trying it. Very <laughs> cheap. <laughs> <laughs> At the last minute, we jumped on a night city tour bus. Um, it was good, the headphones didn't really work very well, my ears were still ringing from the flight and I kind of fell asleep halfway through. So yeah, it wasn't ideal. It's also chucking it down. <laughs> I was just so tired and then we got a vegan ice cream and we walked back to the hotel. We are actually checking out of our hotel this morning and we are heading on a very long bus journey to get on a cruise to Halong Bay. So I'll take you with me, but we're just waiting for breakfast to open. We actually managed to have breakfast at the hotel yesterday when we arrived we just paid for it they don't do soy milk or oat milk or any dairy free milks here at this hotel or in any of the coffee shops which is a bit weird um jas has just gone and found me what is this he said a condensed cashew milk well, well <laughs> a milk. coffee with condensed yeah. cashew milk jas spotted soy milk on the menu and the guy was like no you don't want that it's not sweet and i was like i just want a coffee <laughs> Just That's to warn you, is, it, this is sweet, little bit. It it's gonna be sweet. Everything here is like very, very. I sweet. mean, I like it. I can't open it. I'm gonna go and try it. Hold on. Yeah, okay, apparently I have to drink it with a straw because the lid doesn't open. Oh my god! I <laughs> hate sweet things. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. It's disgusting. Told you. But do you know what? It's a coffee. I haven't had a coffee since we left the house. I didn't even have one at the airport. Um, and that was at, what time was it? Like 6 a.m. UK time, 5 a.m. UK time, and it's been almost 48 hours or something crazy like that. So I'm very happy to have a coffee, albeit it's giving me a bit of a headache, like the sugar. Mm, oh, sugar rush. sweet. Enjoy. Like, like, don't mess with my coffee. Just don't make it sweet. Don't make it creamy. And I'm just happy. This is what our ship looks like. It's the Paradise Elegance Cruise. Hello from Hanoi again. We have just got back from our cruise, which was epic. I last vlogged in this exact same hotel room, funnily enough, about, was it two or three days ago, Jess? Three days? Oh. Three, I don't know, three days ago. Um, we checked out of the hotel, checked back in, but they've given us the same room, which is really cool. So it's about 4 p.m. We've still got some of the day left, so we are going to go and find Train Street first, and I will take you with me in Hanoi are crazy because you're just walking along weaving through like market vendors and little coffee shops and things and all of a sudden you'll just get motorbikes that are parked up and you just have to walk on the road like this this is exactly what I mean it's crazy now we need to try and cross the road apparently you just meant to walk and they will dodge you but I don't really know oh my god this is scary she is so close to me. I'm okay, walk. And just like that, we can't pass. <laughs> it's not sunny outside, but oh my God, it's humid. We've just stepped into an art gallery just because I felt the air con as we're walking past. And it's actually really cool in here. There's some like really nice art. This is called the Thang Long art gallery which i think is obviously near the puppet show that we're going to tomorrow night oh, i actually really like the textures on this one and the colors this is so nice this one oh my god i am so happy to see this place because Banana coffee. Oh. I saw online that they do nut free milk, nut dairy free milk. Oh my god, Train Street was such a flop. So they do have police outside. You're not actually allowed to walk down Train Street unless you get lucky on the odd occasion and there's no police. There's like a 500,000 dong fine, which I can't 
um, about 50 quid, I think. Anyway, um, it's so hard to find anything vegan, like milk-wise. Every coffee shop, even all the fancy ones, just don't do anything but cow's milk. And Jas just randomly found this place. I have no idea what they do, but I'm so excited to see it. It's called The Veg. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna get all the coffee, all the everything. And, can I just show you? So we're not eating here because we're not actually hungry, but everything is labelled vegan. Nothing is labelled anywhere in Vietnam so far restaurant buffets on the cruise like nothing is actually labeled so i'm so happy yeah, to see this pizzas. Are they different, different pizzas? they're pizzas but they also do like non is it going to focus they also do like non-vegan i think it's a vegetarian place there's no meat but this contains egg for example anyway i'm really 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 happy to have found this oh my god yes so i think they do soy milk as free but <gasps> they do cacao walnut milk sorry it's like a really windy oh because the fans on and we're sitting kind of half outside half inside um it's so nice and breezy though but yes i think i'm gonna try cashew i, I like cashew nut milk i've never tried sesame walnut no, can, can i take some away as well no yeah they're giving a bottle so yeah, it's, it's actually for drinkable like a, like a smoothie um, just for the hotel we've got banana coffees which is so exciting this banana coffee together. I don't hate it. Quite nice. It's quite nice. It's just that I don't really do sweet things. I wasn't expecting it to be sweet. Different. Yeah, try it. Just got a cow's milk in his and now he's trying mine, which is cashew milk. There's a bit of a difference actually. Which one's nicer? Mine's sweeter. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. good. Try it. Oh, you can't. No, I can't. This is nice as well. So we decided to order some food as like a pre-dinner thing, I guess. Um, we've got mushroom and tofu with nachos, but they're made from rice paper, I believe. Very interesting. We've got stuffed tofu with mushroom, which sounds really interesting, with some red rice and mushroom and tofu nachos. This is actually a main and a starter to share. They even make their own walnut yeah. milk here. That's so cool. We are on Train Street. They literally follow you to make sure you go to their coffee shop. Back on Train Street, but there appears to be no train here. Um, everyone's waiting for the same reason. And we, we got here at five, they said seven, it is now Quarter past seven, we've been here for half an hour. Now they're saying nine, but we can't spend all night here and it's such a shame. Hanoi is insane. This is Beer Street, by the way. and you guys know I'm not a dessert person but it is so hot I cannot even explain to you like Hanoi is a very walkable city you can walk everywhere but you have to double the time that Google Maps says because it's crazy trying to cross the road and it's just so hot that you just naturally walk slower um, so we found this little dessert place I'd already researched called Little Bowl Dessert we have no idea what it is but it basically comes with coconut jelly and ice and all I care about right now is the ice. So I'm getting a traditional mixed bowl. And what are you getting? I'm going for the caramel mixed bowl. The caramel mixed bowl. In fact, it's just here. Oh, amazing. Caramel and traditional. Brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. Ice cube for your sweet bowl. You can add inside with donut too much. Oh, thank you, you so add, much. Yeah. You, oh, you add the ice in. Okay. Yeah. Just added some ice. And look, it's got little coconut jelly in. It's a bit like um, bubble tea, right? Yeah. Go on, try yours, Jas. Mine's called a caramel mixed bowl, so let's see. It's nice. Is it nice? Yeah. Is it sweet? Fun. Yeah, sweet, but not too sweet. It's nice. Yeah. Yours has um, condensed milk in it. Mine yeah. obviously doesn't. Guys, that was probably the most delightful dessert I've ever eaten in my whole entire life. And it cost 87 pence. 
I think I'm gonna go for a second. It's just so refreshing and cooling. Did you like yours? I loved it, yeah. This Caramel. Is insane. Oh my god, I'm coming back here. It was so good. The fruit, it's a bit weird to have like kidney beans and mung beans, but I mean it worked. Oh my god, it was so nice. It was so nice. I don't even like coconut. Oh yeah, coconut. Yeah, vegan. Vegan stuff always has coconut, but oh. This is the menu, so I had the traditional mixed bowl, just had the caramel. I'm gonna see if they can make me the caramel without the condensed milk and make it vegan. This was so good, we just got another one. Just got a different one this time because he has more choice, but I went for the same thing and I'm so excited for this. You do not understand. And uh, the bowl you just had it is uh, a Okay, thank you. <laughs> Kiem Lake, I think that's how it's pronounced. We were here on our first night and I think this is quite a good place to like find your bearings in the city because it's kind of in the middle. Um, but we're walking this way, right Jess? Yep, no, I think we're left. Oh, left. Good morning, I have a Vietnamese noodle, tofu and vegetable breakfast with my um, soy milk, no, with my my cashew condensed milk Vietnamese coffee from a restaurant nearby. I would show you the view, but it's not actually that great. <laughs> but here we are, just having breakfast. It's a bit of a late start this morning because we had a bit of a late night last night. We have quite a full on day because this is our full day in Hanoi and we're off to the prison first. We're actually gonna get a grab, a taxi, because we've been walking everywhere so far but it's about a 40 minute walk from our hotel. Google Maps says it's 20, you have to double everything in Hanoi and it's gonna get really hot. We've got a lot of ground to cover and the tax is gonna cost us under a pound, so why not? <laughs> Book it. Let's do it. 28,000 dong, which is just over a pound. Yeah, 95 pence. Oh, 95 <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Really quick, surprisingly, um, given how much traffic there is in Hanoi, but we've just arrived at Holo Prison and it cost us 30,000 dong, which is, I don't know, like 85p or something. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is cell D, it's one of the largest um, cells in this prison and it has no ceiling, just a tiled roof and the walls used to be covered in black tar. <coughs> this is how the prisoners were kept in cell E. <coughs> Their legs chained up like this. It's really quite sobering being here. This is the toilet area where prisoners were made to go to the toilet in front of one another. This is really interesting. So this is an almond tree and it says that it's linked to the Holo political prisoners because the almond bark and young leaves cure dysentery and diarrhoea. Um, obviously the almonds improve health, like the nuts themselves, and the branches make pen holders, pipes and flutes. Who knew? That's really interesting. It's now become a part of their history. So this is the um, detention area for female prisoners. So creepy isn't it, because it's all dark, with one tiny little window right at the top. They kept 300 female prisoners in here with their children. Number two was, uh, and number two then he was, uh, he was shipped. Yeah. Is this an actual cell? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so creepy. These shackles are made from iron. Oh, so they were just tied here. And you can't even move or stand out. Wow. And that was their little window. Just that. Walk through the door.
we've now come out to Note Cafe. It's a bit of a queue because I think this is like an Instagram hotspot. We just want a really nice, cold, refreshing drink. I'm so pleased to see that they do soy milk here. But this place is literally full of notes. I think we're on the fifth floor. Um, it's never ending. The narrow flight of stairs just goes upstairs. And um, there's not very many tables by the window, but we managed to snag one right on the very top floor. We've just spent far too long in here and it is so hot. <laughs> the stairs are really windy and we were kind of right on the top floor. One second, Jess. She's so good. It's like loads of people filming TikToks for them. So we're back at the lake. It's not as beautiful actually in the daytime, I have to say, but we're going to the temple that's in the middle of the lake now. So this is where we are and we have to buy tickets. Hi. 2,000 dong. So the tickets cost 30,000 dong each, which is just under a pound again, and this is where you go. You have to obviously cover your knees and your shoulders when you're walking around temples, so we're trying to do it all in one day, because I read that you had to do that at the prison as well. Thank you. So Note Coffee was literally just over there, <laughs> like a five minute walk. We're getting a banh mi. My first banh mi of the trip. I'm getting a veggie one, obviously, and instead of the success one is the most popular for Jazz. 14. 114, yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Can I with you? Can you can go up, I bring for you. Yeah. You know my one? This one? Yeah. Make it spicy? Yeah, a bit this. Yeah. Just his? My yeah, only mine, yeah. Not me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Can you give me chili? You want chili? This looks so good. I mean, I love bread. Bread just doesn't love me, and I cannot believe this is my first bar me. What did you get? Does it look good? Ah, oh, you got that pork floss stuff. Yeah, and it's just, yeah, it's a bit of kicking it. It's got quite... You asked for extra spicy. We made a quick pit stop back to the hotel to collect some laundry that we handed in yesterday. This is literally about three or four pounds because it weighed 2.3 kilograms and she said it was 40,000, she said it was 40,000 dong per kilogram, which is about just over a pound. That's incredible. It's insane. It's a long queue to get into the theatre, but I don't really know what's happening down here. <laughs> so we're just about to watch the water puppet show at the theatre. Enjoy a piece of music from the south part of Vietnam, which is title is Lullaby. <laughs> puppet show is quite possibly the worst thing I have ever done and the biggest waste of money. Um, I mean it was only four pounds or three that. pounds or something but <laughs> it was so shit. Everyone in the road behind us was asleep and we just couldn't get out because the seats were really narrow. We've actually now got three hours to kill before the night market starts. We were meant to be going for dinner but we're not really hungry so we're going to walk back to the hotel, just rest. I've got a bit of a headache so hot and humid and then we'll decide what to do from there. Okay, we're just going through like some really weird place to a hidden restaurant that's on the second floor. I can go up. Oh, I might need to hold on. We're in 
found this like very hidden gem of a restaurant and it's all vegan um, and they do like vegan meat, vegan seafood and all the rest of it. It's a bit of a mission to find actually. But there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's hard when you're traveling. Yeah, it's challenging, isn't it? Yeah. In the city, it's not. Oh, sorry, I thought you wanted to drink it. Of course, drink it. I thought drink it with this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. But, oh, I, I, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. We've just been given a clear broth with some rice and Jas was told to drink it and then eat the spinach or the morning glory. Yeah. Ooh, it's nice actually, the broth. Looks nice. But, I think um, I've had this before. Maybe I'll have it in a minute. Maybe that's, is that, I don't know if you can this food was incredible. I just wish we had space for more, but it's a tiny little hole in the wall, like family run place, where they don't actually speak any English either. Um, and so we didn't really know what we were ordering. We just kind of took a punt because it's all vegan anyway. Um, and initially she told us to order five dishes. I think I got that wrong because we only ordered like the vegan crab claw and there was a vegan beef. And then she said it comes with rice, but what she didn't say is it comes with like tofu and tomato sauce, this like, epic like chili salty limey sugary like dip that you dip that into and then you get like coriander bean sprouts cabbage and this other green leaf that i don't actually like at all but they put it in like a lot of their cuisine um, i don't know what it is but it's like green and it's purple so you grab all that with your tofu dip it in there and put some rice and i don't know eat it together and they also gave us this broth with morning glory which was incredible oh so so nice Bill has literally come to 295, which is about a tenner <laughs> for all of this food. Like Jas's beer, I got a Diet Coke. Just insane. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is about him. Right, we're just at the night market in Hanoi. This is like meant to be a very big market. It's like three kilometers long and it's only on on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday night between 8 and 11 p.m. Yeah, I thought he was smoking when we saw him. Ah. Actually, I'm gonna try it, but... Do you want to get, how much is it anyway? I have no idea what this is, but we're basically trying it. I think it's veggie, I think it's like ice cream. It's called Kem Koi. Wow. Uh, chocolate or strawberry? Both. Both, please? Two sauces? Thank you, mix, yeah. I'm probably not going to have much, but... Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, it's our last morning in Hanoi. I have a bit of a cold thanks to the air conditioning, but Jas has just brought me um, a Vietnamese vegan iced coffee from Che Food, which is a vegan restaurant down the road from our hotel, which I'm very, very happy about. Also, this is random, but I picked up some hydrocortisone yesterday from a pharmacy, which is actually a steroid cream. Um, my sister told me to buy it out in Asia because it's so much cheaper, and I think it might be prescription only in the UK this was under a pound it I've got loads of bites on my legs um, and so this just helps reduce the swelling and the redness and the itchiness so I thought I would just share that little piece of information with you I do not know what my hair is doing today but we are all packed up and ready to leave Hanoi I won't miss this hotel but I will miss Hanoi will you 
I miss the hotel, it's quite nice actually. It was all right. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I feel really ill today. And then you were just saying you do too. I feel a bit wheezy. I've got, yeah, a bit of a head cold, really stuffy. I think yesterday was so hot and humid and we packed so much into one day. That um, and also because I had my portable fan, um, it was like in my face all day. That always makes me a bit ill. Then we had the aircon on; it's now off. I think it's just like the extreme heat and the extreme cold, maybe. But we also feel a bit dizzy, yeah. which is not normal. Um, anyway, we are going to check out of the hotel, and then we're flying to Da Nang. But we're actually then going to Hoi An for a few nights. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.